Hey guys, welcome. Um, I'm going to edit this image to make it a little more impactful and uh, get it to how I want to have it to give to the client. So first thing I'm going to do is crop it in a little bit tighter. I hit the R key to go into the crop tool here. And I'm just going to bring that up to put them in a power position. And I'm going to keep my leading line of this path down here, but also this up here, I'm going to create more of a, a distinct leading line to the couple as well. Now, as I look at this image, there's a few things I want to get rid of. One of them is this fire pit and this edge of a table. Also, we had the bottle spill uh, in a most uh, unfortunate place. I'll need to fix that. And then this picnic table back here, I don't like either. So let me start with the fire pit. Uh, with this one, I'm going to want to use heel. I'm going to want a nice soft brush and a full opacity. So let me just come in through here and just paint liberally over that. Now, because there's so so many leaves and sticks and things, it should blend pretty nicely to where you can't tell much of a difference. And so um, this could be placed in a lot of different places to get a look that you're happy with. I'm not going to be too picky about it because I don't think anybody's ever going to notice that. Okay, the next thing is this little edge of the picnic table. So I'll get rid of that quickly. Same thing. Okay. Here comes the, the tougher one. We need to get rid of this spot right here. Now, rather than get rid of it, what I'll do is probably just blend it and make it look like a shadow um, because that's going to be my easiest thing to do. So I need a harder brush. So I'm going to just drop my feather. And I'm going to drop my size of my brush. And I'm just going to avoid kind of that, uh, those dark areas. So the dark area between his legs there and the dark uh, crease in his pants. And I'll just come about right there. Let me move that pin. So you can see I've already, let me hit H to hide the overlay. I've already blended it quite well. Let's just take a look and see if I hit clone what that does. I don't love that, but let's, I do like that it's a lighter tone. So let's just increase my feather and see if that can uh, feather in a little bit nicer. I'm going to drop this down just a touch. Okay, so if I go something like that, um, I'm going to be okay with that because this just looks like a crease now um, as he's walking. So let's go over here to the picnic table. And again, I'm going to need a, a, a brush that's just a little bit harder. So I'm going to um, hit right there on Feather. Now, if you notice that, I actually am still on this pin. So I'm going to hit Command-Z to undo that. So it'll get that feather back to where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to hit uh, the Q key to bring up a new pin in this tool. And so then I'm just going to try to get the picnic table here. All right, I'm going to increase my opacity. Let me hit H to bring up my, uh, my overlay. And I want to be in an area that is just as out of focus as this area should be. So this is probably going to be where I pick. Um, let me check out if I um, make that a little bit softer. And then I'm going to just bring it a little bit closer to her leg. Just a touch right through there. Let me go a little bit harder on that. Let me hit the H key. So I'm starting to get a good edge between her and the overlay. And I am going to um, come and do this little area. Now, one thing to know, one thing to know about this right here is it's better to use clone because what it's doing is it's making an exact duplicate. If I was to use heel, it would start to pull the color of her pants into that area. Do you see how it's now pulling that over? And we don't want that. So it's it's better to use clone when you're when you're cloning something away from something else that you don't want to be there. And I'm going to do the same thing through here. I'll just do it in little bite-sized chunks. All right, and that one's right there. So let's bring it over here. And I can even kind of create that, uh, that little line from dark to light. Let me hit H to overlay. So I'm getting this kind of line around here. So let's just increase that feather. Okay, and I'm going to click right here and just come around their hands. Okay, and hit H to see where that pulled from. I'm going to again take it over here. Okay, 
And it's not looking awesome yet, but now I can start to come in here and just kind of get some bigger chunks now. So we'll take that from over here. Okay, and let's see how heel looks with that one. That one looks better with heel. And then this little area right here, that's going to need... Good. That one looks good. Now, I don't like this little outline of their hand, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. Let's go even closer than that. All right, and since I'm going to be so close to their hands, let me... Let me drop the feather. So if you'll notice, I keep adjusting the settings on the pin that I last used. And so if I just hit the Q, Q key twice, one to close the tool and then once to reopen it with a new pin, I can quit doing that. And so be careful with that as you're editing. And I'll start up here where there's no pin kind of even crossing into their hands. Okay. Let's see where that pin went. Let's go one to one here. So it went on to her. Okay, so you can see, let's go back to a three to one. You can see I've done a pretty good job there. And you can't see that picnic table. That's not very noticeable. So now what we're going to want to do is just kind of get the picture how we like it. So let's change our exposure. Just brighten it up a bit. Okay, and I'm going to find my black point to give me a nice tonal range from darks to lights. There it is starting to appear in her pants down here. So now I have a good dark point. I want to kind of bring back the detail or bring back the highlights. So I'm going to drop my whites and my uh, highlights. And then I just want to open up my shadows just a bit. Okay, so that is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and just do auto white balance, see how that does. That's pretty good. I'm going to warm it just a little bit more. Go right about there. So that's pretty good. I could, I could be finished right there and be okay with it. But I want to create a more dramatic effect. And so I'm going to go into my um, my adjustment brush by hitting the K key. And let's go to, I've got some flare presets in here. So let's go to flare plus plus. Now, if you don't have my adjustment presets, you can go ahead and set your sliders to match my sliders right here with the exposure and the contrast, highlights and shadows. And that will give you the same thing. And then just do a large... Um, soft brush and all we're gonna do is paint brightness right through there okay so that's made that a nice bright area I might go a little higher up into here the next thing I want to do is I want to paint darkness down the sides so I need to I need to create a new pin I'm gonna change this to darken okay if you, and again if you don't have my darken uh, adjustment brush uh, adjustment uh, brush presets, then just go ahead and uh, drop your exposure by a stop. And then I'm just going to paint over here. I'm going to do the same over here. And I want those to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to actually bring out the, the, um, the graduated filter tool. I'll do the same thing, except I'm going to just kind of pull some graduated filters out here and a little bit on the path in front of them almost like it's a just a little bit of a, a moody late evening scene and so let me let's just do a before and after right there and you can see how much i've added to this image just to give it that feel now we could consider this image finished but if you have my sun flare preset pack which is a great pack to have you could even come in here and add um even more sun flare to this image. And so we could go to, I don't know, the right, right glow full. And you'll see how that brings in this kind of swath of light that's across them and it makes them too bright. But if I come over here and drop down my exposure a little bit, it's almost like I have sun 
kind of pouring through the trees and hitting them. And you can see how that creates a really nice look. I could go to, um, let's see. Let's go to uh, a left streak. And so you'll see it just gives me a little bit of light up through here and then down here in this little bit of a flare. I'll adjust my exposure back. And I like that one. In fact, I think I like that one the best. So let's go ahead and stick with that one. And then with the sun flare pack, um, we have some toning. And so we can actually tone this however we want. So we can go to a dusk. That might be a little heavy. We can go to a dusk feel right there. We could fade it. We could go to a warm fade, which I think I like right about there. And so if you if I pull that out, you'll see that's where I began. That's where I've ended. And um, mostly the, the time it took was to just remove those distractions from the background. The actual editing of the image went went very quickly. And, um, and if you don't have um, my presets, then you would still be able to attain that nice look and just create this kind of glow right through here and focus in on the couple to make a really nice image.